In this brief video, we'll look at some graphs. We'll look at an example where something is launched into the air or shot into the air, a crossbow bolt is shot straight upwards from the ground with initial velocity 49 meters per second and drag coefficient rho equals 0 0.04. And let's compare velocity and position with and without air resistance. So velocity without air resistance is our units are meters, so negative 9.8 T plus the initial velocity of 49. Velocity with air resistance. Well, we'll take the constants that appear in this example and we'll plug them into the formula we found. Let's see. 49 minus negative 245 e to the negative rho t plus terminal velocity. And let's go to desmos.com. Well, these graphs aren't the most fascinating, perhaps, but we see what we expect to see. Air resistance opposes the um, movement. So this blue graph, the graph with air resistance, is witnessing lower velocities than the graph without air resistance. Now let's do a position. This purple curve, this purple curve represents um, height with air resistance. The green curve represents height without air resistance. As you would perhaps expect, air resistance resists the object and it reaches a smaller maximum height sooner than hits the ground earlier.